How to tell if someone is taking <laughs> steroids! <laughs> oh boy, is this gonna get a shit ton of hate. So that can only mean one thing. Pop on the hater glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Now, before I start this video, I just want to make it clear that I have nothing against those who take anabolic steroids. It's a free world, do what you got to do. What I do have a problem with is those hiding behind their use of anabolic steroids or lying, claiming that they are natural because you end up with individuals with skewed up mindsets in what they can achieve naturally. And the result is therefore a generation of 12 to 15 year old prepubetic boys contacting me or anyone else for that matter saying, God, I mean, I'm having my protein shake after my workout and progressively overloading on all my lifts. Please tell me, how do I get it? As big as Ronnie Coleman. <laughs> you can't. So, what are the main signs that you need to be looking out for to tell if someone is on steroids? So, for those of you who are too lazy to watch this whole video, let me just quote a nice little paper by Dandoy and Greig. Greig. Greig? Who's he? Is that a protein bar? 2012, who sums up everything rather nicely for you. Anabolic androgenic steroids are synthetic derivatives of testosterone that have been modified to maximize anabolic effects. These testosterone derivatives have several general effects. They promote an increased nitrogen concentration in the muscle, which in turn promotes an anabolic state. The agents inhibit the binding of catabolic glucocorticoids to muscle, preserving muscle mass and prohibiting muscle breakdown. And anabolic androgenic steroids have an effect on aggression, promoting athletes to train and push themselves harder. When combined with strength training, Anabolic androgenic steroids increase fat-free mass and muscle strength. Strength gains can be substantial with increases of strength to 5 to 20%. So, now that's over, if you are still here, let me dive into my five. Four, three, two, one, take off! Woo! My five key points to look out for based on, of course, the scientific literature. <laughs> to be able to tell if someone is on steroids before you start trying to attain something that realistically ain't gonna f***ing happen. Boop. Point numero uno. A rapid increase in muscle mass. Correct. Super physiological doses of testosterone have shown to nearly double the rate of muscle mass gain compared to when natty. Cue the paper. Hi guys. Bassin, et al, 1996, split people into four groups. A group that did nothing, no lifting, no steroids. A group who didn't take steroids, but they did lift. Then a group who did not lift, but did take steroids. And then a group who did everything, i.e. they took steroids and they lifted. Results? After 10 weeks of lifting, the complete natties managed to gain an impressive 1.9 kilos. But enhanced lifters gained three times more at 6.1 kilograms of pure muscle. But what's even cooler about the study is that the enhanced athletes who did not lift still gained far more than the natties who did lift. Meaning you can just take steroids and sit on your ass all day and grow muscle mass. Now you tell me. <laughs> point numero two. Much like point numero uno, anabolic steroids have the impressive ability to also rapidly increase your strength. So, once again, cue the paper. Five years later, Bassin et al, 2001, conducted a very similar study, however, in strength and hypertrophy. And not only did they once again witness an eight kilogram gain in pure muscle mass, but they reported a 75% increase in strength in just a 20 week period. So nobody will lift this heavy ass weight. So, take home messages from point numero uno and point numero due is that if your friend or anyone else for that matter on the Instagram or on the YouTubes gains a shit load of size or a shit load of strength in a very short period of time, it is highly likely they are eating slightly more than just their broccoli. Hello. Now, point numero tre, they're traps. 
explode and they turn into Mr. Cobra Trap. I'm talking about Cobra Traps, not lats, man. Yeah, you're right. You get them traps, man. You got them Cobra Traps. They up to your ears. Correct! Caddy et al. 2000 have shown that the neck and trapezius area are the two areas that contain the significantly greater amounts of androgen receptors. And for those of you who are unaware, according to the authors, androgen receptors belong to the superfamily of ligand responsive transcription regulators. When androgenic hormones bind to the receptor, it becomes activated and the androgen receptor complex is translocated to the hormone responsive element within the nucleus. The binding to selective genes increases rates of transcription. And yes, I was reading that. <laughs> But in layman's terms, by injecting exogenous testosterone, you are basically going to activate these androgen receptors, which then have an effect on stimulating muscle protein synthesis within the specific muscle. Hence, you get big. <laughs> now, point numero cuatro. Tre, due, uno, whee! Much like point number three, their shoulders explode and they start rocking some boulder shoulders. So come on, man, bring back some science for us. Talk nerdy to me. Short and sweet, Ragnier 1993 found that the fibers in the shoulder are just as, if not more sensitive to testosterone as the fibers anywhere else in the body. So, take home message from point number three and point number four is that if all the muscle from point number one goes straight to people's traps or straight to people's deltoids, it is highly likely that they are eating more than just bananas. Hello. <laughs> Oh god. Now we have gotten to the final, most important point. Point numero cinque. They are big, they are strong, they have big traps, boulder shoulders, all while being absolutely shredded. And here is why. With drops in body weight, as when dieting, it is very common in natural athletes to see a slight decrease in strength and loss of muscle mass, mainly as a result of the increased cortisol production and the increased rate of proteolysis or muscle protein breakdown to provide fuel for the body. But an often overlooked benefit of anabolic steroids is apart from their anabolic properties, they also exert anti-catabolic properties in that they can bind to the cortisol receptor and inhibit its binding, thus reducing the amount of stress and muscle breakdown along with promoting increased recovering. But it also aids in nutrient partition. So when you take steroids, whether it's in a deficit or in a surplus, you are more likely to partition nutrients towards muscle as opposed to fat. So on a fat loss phase, that means you preserve more muscle and on a gaining phase it means you build more muscle. Take home point from point numero cinque is that if you see someone getting shredded all while maintaining and or building rapid amounts of muscle and strength it is definitely likely they are eating far more than just aubergines. <laughs> Now, hopefully those points give you a nice little overview as to what to expect to be able to tell whether someone is on steroids or not. But, just in case, let me give you a practical example of what this might look like while I nibble on my stick of celery. Yeah, f***ing tried it. Ball the shoulders. My god. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. If you believe that's natural, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> <laughs> So that is the end of the video. If you liked the video, give the video a like and of course subscribe for more content coming soon. I appreciate your support. See you all later. Have a good day. 